Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play I Am Setsuna for the PC. This Let's Play is brought to you by MunchGames.ca. So yeah, we're going to take out the Fujikes now. So, yep. And in the background, we got the Sens on TSN. Yeah, there's hockey on in the background while I'm recording this. Uh, they're playing the Anaheim Ducks, so... Now, which used to be the Muddy Ducks of Anaheim. <laughs> you know, remember the movie The Muddy Ducks? That was a good movie. Anyway, these are like bear like creatures that I want to try to avoid. Uh, they're not difficult, I don't say. I bet you we can beat them easily. Oh. I guess we'll find them at least once. Okay, so they got more than 224 HP. Okay, they got more than about 300 HP. Uh, okay, one of them's dead. 120. Eh, they're not that strong though, you know. 75 with the shock one. No status elements. I think I'm just gonna wail out of the regular attacks. Okay, there we go. It's not actually that bad. I figured they'd be a little bit uh, worse in the face, but. I don't think that's. I know that's a weapon, but not for anybody in my party right now. Like. Yeah, there it is. It actually looks pretty cool. So we'll equip that. We'll probably start using her more often. Same thing with, uh. No, I do it all them. I'll start using them more uh, eventually, but for now. Uh. We're not gonna do that. So this week is probably going to be, well, it'll be an interesting week, you know, we're getting closer and closer to Christmas, you know, two weeks from the day. Exactly two weeks from the day, actually. Um, as done recording this, remember, it's the 11th. So. I'm probably not going to be doing much slowing down either when it comes to recording over the holidays. I doubt I will, I'll probably just continue as normal, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't see myself. So I already got. Well, I got to say a Sunday off for today already. Labyrinth zone. Well, it's just called Labyrinth, but it's basically a Labyrinth zone. For Sonic the Hedgehog for the Game Gear. Uh, actually, as I stated in that video, uh, the Sega Sunday series for Sonic. The Hedgehog for Genesis, or oh, for Genesis for Game Gear, the original Sonic for Game Gear, uh, that's actually going to end on Christmas Day. Because next week will be Scrap Brain Zone, and then the following week, which is Christmas Day, will actually be. Um, what are the name of the level? The last level is Skybase, or whatever, I think it's Skybase. I can't remember the name of it, but anyway. There's some kind of magical barrier here. Uh, I don't know, maybe... Like the same here, maybe she go back and speak to that old woman in the town. Maybe she might know something about this. Uh, oh. <coughs> I'll meet you back there at that town. Okay, we're back. So, whoa, what's on, what's on with Juliet now? Passed out. You know, see, she came with us when she was still recovering from her recovering back in the other village when she was kind of evil at the time. Um, but it seems like, you know, something's still wrong with her. Let's take her inside. She left her party, but she's actually still technically with us. Okay, so it's only set soon to follow it, but that's because I have to make place. Julian there. I'll probably just put in... Yeah, that's... It doesn't really matter. At this point... Uh, no, 
No, I do. Okay. No, oh, that's perfect. Okay. Just gives me a battle to show off that new weapon of hers. Oh, by the way, when it's winter time, be very careful of black ice. You know, be careful of black ice. I was hanging out with Cole and Bong and Colette. Now, this is actually hanging out with Bong and Cole at one point. Actually, I was hanging out with Cole for a few hours. Uh, help him meet him without. He went grocery shopping, stuff at Costco. Like, uh, Costco and Walmart night with Widow. Colette stayed home uh, with their son. And basically what happened is, um, uh, on the way back to his house, we picked up Bongo. So when we helped, brought everything into his house, we groceries out, and then we helped, he helped Colette put it away and everything, and stuff. The three of us went out to get supper, which, for the four of us, which ends up being, <coughs> which ends up being somewhere. So, coming out of his house, like, he was still in the house, but he had his, uh, but me and Bongo outside, <coughs> waiting by his car. Bongo got to the, uh, driver's side the back um, for the back seat part on the driver's side and I was going to take the front seat on the passenger side and I slipped on black ice on Cole's driveway and we didn't know that black ops is there Cole was still in the house still in his house but he was coming out I think he was coming outside and you know Parker went to help me up and I looked at Parker and said no don't move me I'll get up myself don't move me um, at the time, my left elbow was painting, and my lower back, but not much, it was actually not a lot of really painful, it was just a little small stab in pain, nothing bad. Um, and anyway, we went to somewhere, I walked it off, no, never hit my head or anything like that, so I'm good. Walked it off, and um, went back, we got a subway, had subway, we recorded, oh, we hold on for a while, watch Home Alone, uh, then we started, then we, uh, Recorded four videos for a new LP that's going to come out in 2017. And then we started playing uh, Sign on Happiness, Joking Hazard Song. And then around 12.30, we left. 12.30 this morning. Um, so today, my left elbow has a little bit of a bruise right on the funny bone, basically. Right on the elbow. Uh, but that's about it. And my lower, my back, right, like, you know, lower back, right, I guess around the waist on the back. A little bit of a slight discomfort pain, but nothing. It's not really bad, actually. It's I actually got pretty damn lucky that you know, because it wasn't really loud as black ice, and I caught myself anyway. I was wearing a really thick jacket, a really thick box walk warehouse kind of jacket uh, for uh, winter, with a hood and everything. So I think that kind of cushioned a lot of the blow. Um, so no, yeah. So that's my that's my thing for today. Big show sure in the winter time. Watch out for ice. Not just black ice, ice in general, but mainly black ice. Um, so yeah. So, uh, we never did, I don't think we ever did tell Colt, no, I don't think we told Cal uh, Colette that actually, that I slipped on the ice, um, on ice there, but, uh, cause I know if we told her, she probably would look at Colt and say, like, go out and put salt on the driveway, and she'd probably make a big deal, uh, and I don't believe her, she'd probably make a big deal out of saying, like, oh, you're all boy, and all this kind of stuff. Get me ice and all that for like, well, I'm gonna be, but I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> so, it's not the first time I slipped on ice, it won't buy me the last time. I played hockey too, and took checks into the boards, and, um, uh, pay Twitter notification and a Facebook notification on my phone. Um, so yeah. So, I'm probably taking it easy today. I'm probably not going to do much recording. So, the videos this week might be a little bit sporadic in the sense that I don't have a lot of stuff recorded. But hopefully, tonight before The Simpsons come on, I'll be able to record um, Tomb Raider, probably um, Final Fantasy X, and, hope, and New Super Mario Bros. So, I probably will have a day in the middle of the week, uh, in this week, that I won't have a video. And that might be Wednesday. So, tomorrow will be this. Tuesday will probably be Tomb Raider or something like that. Wednesday will probably be a break. Thursday will be Final Fancy or New Super Mario Bros. Friday will be the other one. And then Saturday I'll probably get uh, another set sooner here. So the only day that might not have a video uh, might be Wednesday. I haven't decided yet. Well, we shall see. Ah! Oh. Speaking of hockey, because I was just saying that, you know, the Anaheim Mighty Ducks, the uh, Anaheim Ducks, I should say, not Mighty Ducks, um, 
and I'm Ducks in Ottawa playing. It looks like the Anaheim Ducks just scored a goal, so um, yeah, one nothing for them. Um, you know, I'm going for Anaheim in this game. You know, I live in Canada. You think I go for Ottawa because I'm Canadian? No, <laughs> I'm going for Anaheim in this game. Ah, uh, well, yeah. I just like Anaheim. They're, they're really, it's a pretty good team, though. Corey Perry, Brian gets laugh. You know, some good players there. I don't want to have some, you know, El Carlson, I guess, you know. But, uh, yeah, Corey Perry, Brian gets laugh, you know. Uh, pretty good players for uh, Anaheim, so, you know. Speaking of ass kickings, you know, you see one last night, uh, on Saturday night, with Montreal. Kicking the shit out of Colorado. I'm sorry, Colorado fans, but the team got their asses kicked by, by Montreal like uh, 10 to 1. <laughs> I was really hoping for a shutout in that game, but that would have been awesome to see a shutout. They did nothing. So, yeah, remember that time Columbus bet Montreal earlier this season? Uh, in, you know, the 2016 2017 season. Montreal was undefeated. And, you know, Columbus beats beat them on the final at like 10 nothing or something, shuts them out. Uh, Carey Price was in the net, and then he's like, remember when Columbus, when Columbus did that? Yeah, well, basically, Montreal does the same thing like Colorado, except for that they actually let Colorado score one goal. <laughs> basically, so, yeah, if only Montreal can go and play Columbus sometime and beat them like 10 nothing. So yeah, you did this in uh, the early season, revenge time. <laughs> but anyway, we shouldn't be really talking about hockey much when, um, you know, RPG. So it looks like... Uh, she used to be a um, a sacrifice. So it looks like so. It looks like Julianne is actually is actually going to come with us. So I guess the whole idea is let's see who best. He's like, no, I'm not going to rest. I'm going to come with you guys. Oh, my phone is at 77%, which is great. You know, the OnePlus One has a really good battery life. I know, I'm still using the OnePlus One. You notice a OnePlus Two, a OnePlus X, a OnePlus Three, and now a OnePlus Three T. Um, I'm actually in a contest. Um, well, hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, it's selected. Uh, this guy on TV, on TV, on YouTube, called uh, MKVHD. Um, and he actually has a partnership with, I think it's D Bland and OnePlus themselves, where, and he put a video on YouTube on this, and all he had to do was, uh, I think, like, uh, follow him on Twitter, follow D Bland on Twitter, and OnePlus on Twitter. I don't even think you have to be subscribed to him, but I'm subscribed to him because I watch text videos also on, uh, online. And, um, anyway, eventually when he has 100 OnePlus, OnePlus 3Ts. Some of them are kind of what he calls naked, which don't have any kind of uh, case on them. And then he has a bunch of them. I think there's 50 with. I think there was like. He mentioned in the video how many, but there's so many with key, deep brand case of certain colors, another one with a certain color. And then there was so many without, I think, a case. Or without a. What he called them basically naked, like there's no deep brand skin on them. Anyway, basically, I think he's going to be in the near future drawing on Twitter. Uh, I think that's what I had to do is follow him on Twitter and D Bland on Twitter, which makes skins for phones, like cases for phones and that. And of course, one person people make phone, and he said, doesn't matter where you live in the world, anywhere in the world, um, you enter the contest basically with him, and you may get picked as a winner to get a free OnePlus 3T, <laughs> which is a phone that just came out basically from OnePlus. Um, so, yeah, I hope I won't mind winning that, although I like my OnePlus one. It's actually a phone from 2014, and you know what? It's still, in my opinion, a really, really, really great phone. Yeah. But anyway, seems like everybody kind of wants us to um, kill Reaper here, except that Suda has, obviously, and it does kind of, kind of agree with, you know, just, we can pick what we want, but having an end don't agree with that Suda is actually not a bad idea. So, um, we have, have fun with that, basically. So, 
But yeah, that's my story basically about a man named Jenno. That's my story about, like, you know, stepping on black ice, you know. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> and Bongo saw me fall, but he, obviously, he wasn't going to be able to stop me from falling. Uh, but, yeah, he saw me fall, and then he immediately came over, and I was on the ground, like, uh, on my back basically looking off at the sky, and he immediately extended his hand and pulled me up, and I said, no, don't pull me off, I said, don't help me up. And he said, you sure? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. And then when I got up, he was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. And Cole was still around outside the house, his house at the time. He was, I guess, still talking to Cole about something, getting his jacket or something, whatever the case is. Um, driving his car keys, for all I know. Um, but anyway, yeah. That's the story about that. So, yeah, my left elbow has a little bit of a, a bruise there. Uh, it's not too bad of a bruise. And, um... What else? Sorry, my lower back was a little bit stiff. Now, when I was at his house last night, my elbow was bothering me when we went some. Well, I got in the, we got in the car, we went somewhere, I wasn't any pain at all. And then last night when I was at his house, my elbow was bothering me, but I didn't lean on. I basically didn't say nothing to anyone. My elbow was a bit of pain, but not bad. My back wasn't bothering me at all. Oh, my hips or anything. And then this morning when I got up, my elbow was, I guess, you know. Once your body kind of rests and all that, muscles and that, my back did start bothering me a bit on my, or on my hip and lower back and uh, my elbow, but you know what? My neck is fine, elbow, sh my shoulders are fine, my, like I said, the good thing is I never hit my head. That would have been the one thing I would have been really scared about if my head hadn't hit the car, you know? had to hit an actual driveway, that would have been I would have basically got hit, got my got cold to get me my stuff, and I probably would have went to the hospital and got jacked if that if that was the case, just to make sure. Uh, but nothing like that happened. So, yeah. so just be careful. Now, to be in front, uh, to my not to my defense, I wasn't with pretty much wearing the proper footwear. I was still wearing sneakers, and yes, it's December, so I should really probably invest in some boots. So when I'm at work tomorrow, I might go to sports check and see if I can get some with the boots. Actually, I think I still have somewhere here at um, in my house. So I'm going to have to look into that maybe this evening. Because maybe I should start wearing boots for the next few months rather than sneakers. Because it gives me more traction. So maybe that's what it was. But then again, there was black ice and, you know, there's ice around. You know, when you got ice around, you should probably salt your droplets. So, but I don't blame anybody. I don't blame Cole anybody like that. I don't, I don't blame anyone. Um, you know, accidents happen. That's exactly what it was. It was an accident. And you know what? It doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. Uh, I feel like editing out a lot of these battles. But I'm doing a lot of commentary thing. Now I did pause the video when I backtracked to the city, so maybe I can just pause the video for these, you know, the recording when it comes to the battles. Maybe I should just do that. Therefore, you want to see me fight all these guys, so. But. Then again. I got a bunch of games on my phone, by the way. Ah, uh, for instance. Off the top of my head, um, I have Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Pokemon Go, gotta have Pokemon Go, man. gotta have Pokemon Go, uh, Relic Runner, uh, Run, which is actually two better, uh, Sonic Dash and Sonic Boom, and Sonic, they're actually pretty good, uh, sadly, and I don't like this, hopefully they change it eventually, but sadly, I um, I don't like the fact that that Super Mario World game that's coming out is exclusive to iOS. I don't like that. Granted, I have an iPad, so I can play it on my iPad anyway. But I don't like games being exclusive like that. I think, uh, to be honest, you know that you're gonna tick off Nintendo. You know, uh, I don't think it's anything Nintendo's watching, but you know you're gonna tick off a bunch of. Uh, 
Nintendo fans who are on Android because you're making that game exclusive to iOS. Not everyone has a uh, excuse my language. No one has a not everyone has a fucking iPad or iPhone. There's some people that have Samsung or OnePlus or LG or whatever. Not everyone has an iPhone or iPad. So to be honest, I don't think that's really a smart business decision on um, Nintendo's part to do that. Eventually, it might be ported, but. But, uh, yeah, and I don't know, I think that's exactly what it is, it doesn't, it won't come out for it basically, anytime soon. But, the great thing is, I will be doing an LP on it anyway, because I have an iPad, and I have a program that lets me stream, basically, from my iPad, to my Windows, to my laptop, basically. So I will be doing that. So that game comes out on Thursday. I'm gonna start recording that probably that night, but it's not gonna go up anytime soon. Um, because, uh, yeah, it's just not gonna go up anytime soon. It may replace. Uh, no, it would probably be a let's play, depending on how many levels. I don't know. I have to really wait until the game comes out and play it for a bit and kind of see what it's going to be like, if they're going to do updates where they add more levels and things like that. Um, that's what I have to really wait for because I don't have all the details. So, I'm hoping it's one of those things. I know there's going to be in-app purchases, but the same thing happens with Pokemon Go. And I know I'm not going to do an LP or Pokemon Go. Although I could do the same thing. I have an iPad, I have the game on my iPad, I also have it on my OnePlus. Um, so I could technically put it on my iPad and just stream it to my laptop. And do that. I was thinking of actually doing that with Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2. Mainly Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for iOS because they added the... Same thing with the Android, was that they added the hidden, hidden palace zone, basically. You know, you go, when you go to Mystic Cave Zone, there's actually a secret passage, I think it's in Act 1 or 2, one of them. Uh, I think it's Act 2. There's actually a secret passage, you follow one of the pits, and it's a bottom, you think it's a bottom pit? A pit? A bottom, a bottom pit. No. But actually, it brings you to a brand new zone that originally was in the original Sonic 2, from what I heard, and they took it out, which was uh, a hidden palace. And it was called Hidden Palace Zone, which, you know, there is a hidden palace zone in Sonic 3 and Knuckles or Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, a very short level for yeah. Sonic and Tails. Uh, but, yeah. By the way, check out Call of Duty 2's LP of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, but I think I'm gonna stop the video because there's a save point to my left there. So I think I'm gonna stop the video here and in the next part, uh, we're gonna continue on and move on out. See you later everyone.